Hello there. Hello. Hi. Depends on what you do with your powers. Sure. But your shop is like the best in the galaxy. I had to drop by. So is the answer yes? That's usually Dad's way of saying yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Those guys took down our shields. The lodge is kind of like a secret lair already, right? We're keeping these super secret artifacts here right under everybody's noses. Eh, it's okay. I kind of wish I got to do stuff outside the ship more often. I want to fly my own ship and go all over the place. Like you and Dad, really. I wasn't hiding. I told Grandpa where I was. I, uh, think I did, at least. I checked your suit for you. No leaks. If it weren't for you, I don't know what would have happened to Mom. I hate you! Leave me alone! Okay, see you. There's got to be something around here about Mom. Of course she is. I'm always right. Thank you for talking to me. I got something super important. You know, in case we get into the kind of trouble we always do. And if it weren't for you, we might have lost Andresia too. There was another Korra there. I'm pretty sure she was just a manifestation of the unity, or maybe a hallucination. But she was nice. We played tag. I'll put the book back when I'm done. Don't worry. I knew you would come. I knew you'd save us. There's no you have to be this tall sign for space. Every single time we come here, Dad tells me Aurora is bad. I know. Drugs are bad. Duh. I got it. I got it. I won't move. Sometimes I just want to turn off the grav drive so we can float around. No way! Focus. We need to find Mom. Go away! Don't worry. Any bad guys try to take the ship, I'll blast them. Or, you know, just take off and fly away. It must be really hard to be a miner in Sidonia. It's amazing! He made a brand new kind of plant. Like, he did it all himself. You hit one of their weapons! Why would I do that? Bye for now. Dad and I can handle the rest. I learned that back on Earth, people used to use the stars to navigate. That's so cool. He said Barrett wouldn't want us to get weighed down by it. That we should keep laughing. What kind of animals do you think live here? I just thought maybe we shouldn't assume the worst. If you don't need us, Dad and I can help out around the ice some more. I like books about quantum theory and astrophysics. Or science. Their ship has a broken weapon! Wow. So you're the extra-dimensional entity, right? Do you still, like, cry and stuff? Wow, thank you! Did you hear that, Dad? Meet! We have you outnumbered! I'd prefer if you didn't do that again. Okay, bye. There are bad guys up ahead! Something's wrong with Mom. Oh no, their weapon's back! Veggies? Like the green stuff? We're going to save everyone, right? I don't really feel like talking. It wouldn't be safe to go outside without your suit on. Have fun out there. I'll just, you know, be here. There's a whole plaza named after my family. Kind of weird. No way anybody could survive out there without a suit. Yeah, it's hard. She was really amazing, and now she's just... Gone. Bring all your guns and armor and stuff. It's going to get serious. If that's the CI, does that mean mom... <laughs> no! You're my third favorite. All of society was built upon horses. Imagine what they must have looked like for real. They look smelly. In a good way. It's so crazy to think about. I'm glad that's over. No plants means no trees means no books. What a terrible planet to live on. Okay. It's called space. <clears throat> huh. Are we supposed to feel better? Just because we're all in one place? They got their weapon working! I lost track of time. I don't see any life on the scanner, but there are plenty of minerals out there. Thanks, Dad. It still fits, Dad. And I love it. Now, a new book. Are you spacing out? Okay. Who can jump higher than a skyscraper in New Atlantis? Aquila's a fun place. Just keep your sidearm at the ready is what Dad always says. Of course, Dad. I'm always polite. She scared him so bad that he almost crashed into an asteroid. But he could tell she was organized and nice, so he brought her home. So now she's ours. The end. You are the best for helping. Truly, truly. Why would anyone... <laughs> See you.
you, Captain. We're going straight to the eye after this, right? But wait. Would I be all old like an adult? Or would I be a kid in charge of everything? I think I'd rather be a kid. No. I can't handle this. Dad. Dad is... If more Starborn come, we'll have the ship ready to go. I'm fine, Mom. I was so worried about you. I guess it's fine. I wish I didn't always have to stay on the ship, though. What about me? How am I doing as a co-pilot? We made it! We did it! We have all the artifacts! Ah, uh, all right. Do you think they miss us? Well, I'm okay. But I'd be a lot better if... Dad, pay attention! You have to promise to keep everybody safe. Dad, if you and Dad are going anywhere, don't forget about me. Hey, can we talk? I'd love to see the scientific wing of mast someday. One starborn against all of us. Those are good odds, aren't they? I hope it's an interesting job. Hmm, or is it? <laughs> <gasps> oh no, not the shields! Do you think any of the rangers still remember my dad? Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Works for me! Let's go! Mom's safe! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Oh. You mean because of Barrett? <laughs> Vola Alpha should lend Aquila some of its water, don't you think? Careful not to fall down any mine shafts. I read a book where that happened. I don't get why grown-ups find places like this so interesting. Dad, do you think Solomon Co. would have liked me? It's nice to take a break from exploring and come home once in a while. Just go away! When I'm older, I'm going to explore all over Neon. And no one can tell me no. Uh-oh. A heavy gunner's by the shooting range, so, uh, don't get shot. <sighs> Dad says we shouldn't dwell on it. I want to let you know I'm okay with this. The ceremony? You need my help, right? Admit it. Thanks so much. Flan was very brave and didn't want any of their human friends to get hurt, so they agreed to let the pirates take them as a prisoner instead of anybody else. This looks like a very interesting place to explore. Run! We'll make it! If you're lucky, you might find some alien creatures outside. So does Vosco belong to you now, or does he still belong to Barrett? Neon's so pretty at night. Like, some sort of electric jewel. Hey, uh, maybe we should get back out there? S staying at the lodge feels... weird. I've already packed my bag for Cora and Mom's big vacation sleepover. Coming soon. I don't think that's true, though. They're just really tough and have a cool ship. If you had a cool ship, you'd be like the Mantis, only better. Don't worry about me. Hanging out at the estate is great. I'm glad you got us out of that so fast. I think you're doing great, but there's always room for improvement. I mean, your ship doesn't have a library. Where's a girl supposed to store her books? That Sarah wouldn't want that for any of us. Well, don't forget me and Dad, okay? I know we might not all end up together, but I'd hate for anyone to get left behind. Leave it to me. I'll get to it, Dad. I promise. Dad, the others are here. We're going to be okay. We fixed the broken weapon. They finished their weapon repairs. It's just... It doesn't change anything, does it? But hopefully not as crazy as your travels. I thought Dad's were exciting. But yours? Brr. Ugh. Fine, fine, okay. I'm going. This planet doesn't seem very exciting. Be safe. Guess you'll be coming with us, huh? Dad says you're in Constellation now. That you kind of were already. What time is it? Shit! Oh, sorry. Swear. Dad. She's on Neon. I was so worried about Mom. The Syndicate is bad. So bad. She's got to be okay. I hope Dad's right. And everything's just fine. But I haven't heard anything. I know, right? And Sinclair's is absolutely the best. The weapon repairs worked! Do you have more books or can you buy me more books? With real pages, a spine, the whole package. But if you think I need a few more lessons, I'm sure there are tons of books on how to be a good co-pilot. Maybe you could bring me one? My book allowance is all gone and Dad won't get me more. I hope you're having a good day. This is horrifying. Oh, well. Let me think. I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. Very, very much. So, 
big day. Let's get to it. <gasps> really? Well, I bet he'd be happy if you told him that. I think you're one of his favorite people, too. Really? Huh. If I was rich, I'd have a list of my favorite things. You're rich, so you own a lot of stuff. Like, a lot, a lot. What's your favorite thing? I'm okay! Like how you're always jealous that Vladimir's stronger than you are? Dad? Please? See you later. Oh no! They broke our weapon! Have any new books for me? Their ship's down a weapon! Um, yeah, that makes sense. It's way better than Dad's. But I guess it'll be our ship now? Dad says it's best to stay away from Aquila's city's walls. There's life on this planet! I was reading about ancient marriage customs. I am totally up for smashing some wine glasses. Oh, <sighs> we made it! Now, Buck's a good robot these days, but on Neon, he was a criminal. The bar where he worked was actually run by gangsters, and they did shady business there. Really? Dad. Get up. And I like your ship loads. Oh, and you, too, of course. You got that? I think they broke one of our weapons! Why did you help us out with Mom? It was super dangerous. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Just thinking. Then you eat them. Ugh. Let me think. Their weapon's working again! It's so wow. It's a great story, even with the scientific inaccuracies. Back when it was written, people didn't know the center of the Earth is a huge ball of molten metal. Dad is Dad, but he's lonely and you make him happy. The weapon repairs are done! That was pretty scary. Flan's our fancy chef bot. In my story, they were the cook on a luxury ship. One day, the ship was flying in the Jemison system when it was attacked by pirates. Wow, great idea! If Mom... And I could have done something about it and didn't... Mom should have got back to me by now. Sure! Uh, I'm going to head to my room. This seems dangerous. I don't know. I'm just a kid. I've always wanted to see a planet like this close up. Nice work! Didn't burn your hand off. That's a win. You should see my right hook now. I bet I could knock you flat on your butt, old man. We can't give up. Not now. Why would the Starborn do this? See you later. Hey there. Need to make a quick getaway? Or is this a we're coming back for the better weapons kind of thing? I visited Sidonia loads of times with Dad. Like, three times. No, four. I'll have to check all my charts and double check all the locking mechanisms and see what kind of differences there are in the next universe. Ah. Uh, I didn't do it. Our weapon's all fixed up. I don't mind spending more time on the eye. Look at all this stuff. I'll copy down too. You know how you lose things. I'll get to the estate right away. I'm reading a book about plants written by somebody from Constellation a hundred years ago. No, I get that. Just maybe it's not as bad as it looks. That's all. Dad kept telling me this was it, but I knew we just had to hold on a bit longer. Oh, oh, the yellow shipping containers. On the other side, some syndicate jerks are lying in ambush or something. Mom says we might go to Paradiso next year. She's all excited about spa days. Come back soon. I'll head back to the ship. Eventually. <laughs> you know me so well, Dad. So, what do you say? My favorite person in Constellation is Sarah. She's so cool. I want to grow up to be just like her. Oh my gosh. There are plants and animals here. Yeah. A small price to pay for my education. Mom says later this year we can spend a whole week together. A week! Expect lots of baddies when you come back out. Oh. You mean because of Andresia? Oh! <gasps> wow! You shouldn't do that! They broke one of our weapons! I cannot wait to meet him. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. He had to run away from Neon before those lousy gangsters sold him out. He ran all the way to New Atlantis and became our bartender. The end. Good one, right? I don't think those other ships are happy to see us. Got something for me? There's only so many wires on this ship I can cross. I heard all about you and your powers. Maybe one day I'll go to the Unity. What's the point? It's not going to change anything. It'd be really dangerous to go out there without a suit on. So many people here. So many people saying...
goodbye. Yeah, I guess. One night, a Freestar Ranger burst in and arrested all the gangsters for smuggling. Buck only got away because he pretended to be just a robot, not a bartender. <sighs> they fixed their weapon! I just feel like I want to be a million light years away from everyone. That'd be cool! Dad, can you look around? Maybe there's something here. I promise. I'll be careful. You'll see. Those are hostile ships ahead of us, aren't they? Hey, Dad. Want to hear a joke? Don't worry. The weapon's fixed! Now there's a good idea. That was some adventure, huh? I know it's not really over. It never is. But I think we've all learned a break, don't you? Hey, something up? I can't wait to see Grandpa Jacob again. I... I need time, too. Dad and I will help Vladimir. Don't you worry. And if it weren't for you, Sarah might not be here either. We're going to be okay, right? Everything's worse now. Uh, hello? I asked Mateo if we can get a friend for Vosco. He said maybe, but I'm pretty sure he was just saying it. Or horses! Did you know that it wasn't until after the Industrial Revolution that horse speed was the maximum civilization speed for centuries? Hmm. Not really the most interesting place. And... Will you do funny voices for the characters? Like you used to when I was little? Don't talk to me! You came! Thank you. Somebody needs to start weapon repairs. I can't wait to head up to the eye again. Uh-oh. I think those are bad guys. Mom always says listen to your gut. And hunches. Well, we're talking about what could be an infinite number of parallel universes, right? Uh-oh, their weapon's working! My dad always stops for a beer at the hitching post when we're in Aquila City. My grandpa lives in Aquila City, but we don't visit all that often. I don't think Dad likes it there. Very serious. I knew something was wrong, but not like this. Not the same. I like smelling the pages, the feel of it. Computer screens are just blech. Just so you know, I like you too. Found any new books? Please, please. That was amazing! The shields need to be fixed. It, it can't be right. This can't be real. Dad? Fine. You know, reading computers for hours gives me a headache. If that's really true, how different do you think they are? Like, are they really similar to this one? Or really weird? Did you know the iron in Mars's soil is what makes it red? Picking the lock? No offense to Sidonia, but it's kind of boring here. This planet rocks. <laughs> Get it? Because of all the rocks outside. No, we... We were all supposed to be okay. Can I take my payment in books? Oh, no, no, no. Does anything on the ship need to be fixed? Bring me back something cool from the city, okay? You hit their weapon! You're right. We shouldn't assume that just because they're the second us we see, that they somehow didn't exist before. I have decided that I will stay. You have the Korra stamp of approval. You spend a lot of time in space. We sure do. Don't forget to stop by Sinclair's books. This is your fault! Leave me alone! I've been brushing up on all my co-piloting skills lately. I hope Gertrude misses me. I really miss her. And please don't say cheese. Dad loves boring old cheese. This place is amazing! I don't want to talk to you. Leave! How'd they fix their weapons so fast? She's a slow reader, but it's been too long, even for her. She always sends a message when she's finished. He wrote about this experiment with some zero fights that he found on ten different planets. Aw, that's lame. Grown-ups always give answers like that. I think you all have too much going on in your heads at once if you can't pick favorites. Ahoy, Captain! I, uh, got to go. But thanks. Your ship is way bigger than Dad's. The shields need more power! You better stop by Sinclair's books for me. Mr. Stroud, I've got a question. Mom! I really want to help out around the ship. Will you let me? Dad? Captain? Whatever we're doing here really kicked the hornet's nest. I... want to be alone for a while, okay? Well, I kind of do hope it's all true. It really would mean that anything is possible. Not even, like, a spaceship? Or a giant vault full of gems? 
Huh. Dad, have you ever tried Aurora? Can you believe she's never read The Hound of the Baskervilles? Oh, you mean because of Sarah? We haven't talked in ages. I'm so bored. Let me help you fix something. Are we about to get in a fight? I guess it is. You know. Dad. Now, don't even think of going beyond the walls, okay? I hope Mom's doing okay. Oh, 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 Dad, you've made the best friend ever. The weapon's fixed! Dad! Dad, get up! Get up! Please? Neon's great, but fish. It just smells like fish. Thanks! Someday, I'll be a captain like you, and then you can be my co-pilot. How about them apples? No. Yep. I've been his co-pilot since I was old enough to read a map. He lets me fly sometimes, and fix things aboard, and use the intercom and everything. He said that Andresia was a fighter, and she'd want us to keep fighting too. Hey, how are you? I understand. I promise. <laughs> no, I won't have more than enough until I have a super duper flew us amount of books. Of course. I don't know why Dad never wants me to visit Grandpa. They're so alike. An address of Lillian's confidential informant. What's a confidential informant? Somebody has to fix the shields. But he said I have to be respectful on your ship. But I could try to fix things if you ask. Oh, hi. I got a new book. Charles Dickens. Fiction. Great expectations. Not related to today. I bet you'd make a pretty great superhero. Ooh, a big secret, huh? Well, watch out, cause Detective Cora is on the case. I'll figure it out sooner or later. No, you listen, Dad. I'm not eight anymore. I know I can't shoot or anything. We need to fix that weapon, quick! I was five, Dad. Five. One of their weapons lost power! Will you bring me back a treat from Jemison Mercantile? Noel sure seems worried. Their weapon's broken! That's right. There's Flan, Gertrude, and Buck. I made up stories for all of them, too. Do you want to hear one? Yeah. He was really great, always trying to make me laugh. I could really use that right now. Since you have your own company and you're rich, you must own a lot of things. Do you have a favorite? You've been taking good care of my dad, right? Funny. Constellation doesn't really talk about that part, do we? Going to somewhere means you're leaving from somewhere. You know? You did it! That Starborn is gone for good, right? Ooh, my favorite. Buck's story is full of intrigue. He's our bartender now, but in my story, he used to work at a really fancy bar for rich people in Neon. One of the weapons needs to be fixed! That's what Dad said. I feel kind of bad, you know? That I want to go anyway? They must have finished weapon repairs! Yep, that's right. And if you ask me, I'm doing a pretty good job. I keep the ship in tip-top shape and the crew in order, because everybody listens to me. It's nice to be heading home. Dad always says we don't have time. Hope's got nothing to do with it. It's like Dad always said. You only need to win the jackpot once. You just got to keep trying. When we get out of this, I'm so going to make her read some Sir Conan Doyle. Mom's got to be okay. She's just got to. Not even once! Same boring old planet for, like, years. What are your intentions with my father? Do you hope she's doing okay? I guess that makes you my parent now, too. So you gotta do what I say, right? Right. We should just keep an open mind. Okay, if you say so. I've been reading all about parallel universe theory, and I'm ready. No telling how many times it'll take before I find him. Tell everybody at the lodge hi from me. This is so exciting. I can't wait to get to the Unity. I've been reading all about parallel universe theory, and I'm so ready to meet another version of me. You think it's okay if I call them Korra too? I know they maybe seem scary at first, but what if it's just a threat display? Don't you dare go out there without your suit. Look. Dad said that there's a chance we might all get separated after we go to the Unity. You don't think that's going to happen, do you? I'm working hard, Captain! I've really missed Jemison. Our weapon's all better now! You don't know that! Who cares what the Starborn say? Infinity is infinity, okay? He's out there, and I'm going to find him. But I guess it only worked because they just lived on one planet. 
And that sounds boring. Your turn. No fair asking a question if you aren't going to answer it, too. Door's locked. Dad has the details. Hmm. I don't think it'd be a good idea to go out there without a spacesuit. Do you think he would have liked you? Like more than you'd ever want to know. Hello, kids are around, people. Can I help out around the ship now? Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Hi again? No, she's in trouble. It's been too long since she's written me. <laughs> Dad, come on. You have to keep your eyes open. Oh, can I, Dad? I don't really mind staying on the ship when we're in Neon. She didn't even know how to replace a phase manifold. Can you imagine? That's right. But what they really wanted was to be a chef again. So they walked straight to the lodge and asked for a job. And Sarah said yes. And now they're ours. The end. Dad likes going on those long trips with you. No. And don't keep asking. I'm not gonna be, all right? Two ships drop syndicate goons down. Oh, another one's coming. Will you get me a treat at Jane's Goods? Why can't I use the welder? No! He tried to keep me away, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't. Roger. Was that it? I was expecting, like, birds or cakes. Modern ceremonies are really a letdown. You know how lots of species will puff themselves up or show off their teeth and growl? To scare off anything they don't like. And if it weren't for you, Barrett might not be here either. Yes, our weapon's repaired! Dad says everyone in Constellation is a hero in their own way. So, I think maybe you just need to admit it. Go away! I told him you were coming. He just had to hold on a little longer. And it'll be part mine. Oh, 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 I am going to claim a section to be officially Cora's thinking spot. We were reading the Count of Monte Cristo together, and she hasn't gotten back to me. I, uh, seem to have left my stamp back on Dad's ship. But imagine it there, on your arm. Cora approves. Everyone keeps saying things. Mom? Grandpa? So many people. I kept... I kept wanting to visit Mom. But now... <laughs> you know what your favorite person would really like? More books! Dad, this is between us. Hey, Mr. Stroud. Got a second? It was pretty obvious something was really wrong. It's a good thing I have some new books. This planet seems pretty boring. This is getting a little weird. <laughs> Giant-sized spaceships or tiny dinosaurs? Wait, why not both? Oh no, the shields are down! I thought you might say that, but this is a constellation discovery. And it's equal membership. So, what's it say? Hi! Dad! I've never been to a ceremony like this. Make sure you do it right. Okay. That makes me feel better. I love the way Aquila City looks. Phew! <laughs> I'm glad you said so. <laughs> I've even been practicing being a leader by bossing my dad around. I don't think he likes it much. One day, she accidentally picked a magic flower. When she touched it, she was whisked away through space. The next thing she knew, she was on Barrett's ship. Good, it's the best. I met another kid my age who hadn't been on a starship once. Everyone's always saying Neon's not for kids. But there's loads of interesting things to find. I still don't know how you lost that picture of Nibbles the Comet Eating Bunny. Dad said I have to stay on the ship here too, because mining's dangerous. Heads up. Ship coming in at the far end of the base. Now the important question. Pizza. Favorite topping? A brief history of time. If you find any addition, any at all, I will be your friend, like, forever. I'm guessing his... desk? Get out! That's just so wrong. Out with you. So long! So that everyone else can leave me behind? You know what? I'm losing something either way, so... If I have a choice, I'm choosing adventure. Dad, can I have a pet? Our weapon's broken! What do we do? Good. I've been wanting to ask you something, too. Me first. Oh, that's my favorite question. I've thought a lot, lot, lot about this. It's a very important choice, after all. My favorite book is... Dad says when I'm older, he'll teach me how to use a pistol. And once I'm a good enough shot, I can go with him anywhere. 
I can't wait to get older. Duh! I'm only 12. You really expect me to know everything? Sheesh! Worried? No, I think it's fascinating. Yeah, but all sorts of people say my dad makes a bad impression, and he gets by just fine. The lodge doesn't feel the same, does it? No, I know. Is there a way to go faster than the speed of light? And none of that grav tech cheating? Journey to the center of the Earth by Jules Verne. It's about some explorers who go down a volcano and find a secret underground world below Earth's surface. We can't lose! We're not supposed to lose. Hey, Dad, want to hear a poem I wrote? It's called a haiku. I just read about them. No way. Your ship smells so much better than Dad's. Like, a lot. <laughs> Don't pretend to be mad at me. I know you aren't really. Oh, you must be the new member. Dad's never smiled that wide. Almost scary. There's a mountain around here that looks like a face from above. I'll say, you know? This ship isn't so bad. Just needs a little love, books. Dad said you might say that. But this is a constellation discovery, and it's equal membership. So... <gasps> Their weapon's fixed! Make sure your suit's all sealed up before you go outside. What are you waiting for? Let's go! Space is cold and dark. Once Fawn was on the pirate ship, they overrode the controls and flew it to the vanguard in New Atlantis. The pirates got arrested, and Flan got a medal. I cannot wait to meet them. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what they're like. I think their weapon's working again! Even when you could die and stuff. Huh, this is for you. M maybe they'll just leave us alone? You won't! If you tell, I'll tell everybody in Constellation that you said your favorite person was me! Then you'll be in trouble. Sometimes I think I might want to be a Freestar Ranger when I grow up. You're very welcome. This planet has a toxic atmosphere. We made it home from another mission safe and sound. I'm not crazy. Mom is in trouble. We gotta hurry. <laughs> I'm just teasing, Dad. Jeez, everybody. Skyscrapers can't jump. <laughs> is everybody okay? Did we just lose a weapon? No. Does that mean you're already a superhero then? That's awesome. You're such a good pilot. It's my dad. I, I just can't. And so many people. But she's my mom. I can be a pair of eyes. I know things. I will be useful, promise. We finished the weapon repairs! This is not normal. You heard me. Your intentions. Now. That sounds fine to me. It's been ages since you let me help out around the ship. What was it like? Good job. Dad says it's easier to get in trouble in Neon than anywhere else in the galaxy. Let's not do that again for a while. Do you think everyone at the lodge is okay? Sure sounds like we haven't seen the last of them, so I guess we'll see what happens. Oh, wow! A planet with life! Like Marvin Madani or something. Good. I've been wanting to ask you something, too. Me first? You keep installing new cool things in your ship. It's like Christmas every day. I know. It's not all that bad, I guess. It's so unfair. You're the richest person I know. Do you have a favorite thing that you own? Can I ask you something, Mr. Stroud? Dad, what does superfluous mean? I just read it in my book. You don't mind if I take a look at your ship's flight controls, do you? Hmm, maybe later. I figured it was something like that. Hint, hint, you can ask. I promise I'll be good. You're going to need your suit if you're going outside. Ooh, sounds like fun. Dad and I will be riding passenger with you. The most boring job in space travel. Home sweet home! Well, is talking supposed to make us all feel better? Is that why we're all here? Even Dad barely agreed to help me out, and he's my father. If you're going to the lodge, will you bring me back a few books? Well, their reasons are stupid. Yeah. I thought not. Read any good books lately? No, you lose. <laughs> it must get really dark here at night. A book. Oh, and Vladimir. Dad's never been happier. Well, we've never been happier. Don't you always say, don't listen to rumors? <sighs> Is this supposed to make everything okay? Make everyone feel better? Okay. 
Where do you need me? Are they going to shoot at us? Are you okay, Dad? You look tired. Trust me. Don't encourage him. They hit our weapon really hard. That's my point. Nothing's going to change. The shields are broken! No, I totally did. Ugh, it doesn't change anything. Everything's worse. Nothing's going to make that better. I suppose that's okay. Dad says there's rarely a dull moment. Then I remind him he's not the one who gets left on the ship. No way! Choosing my own dad would be boring. Dad's my second favorite. Ahem, <clears throat> but maybe if my book allowance was bigger, that would change. Grandpa Jacob? Are we going to see him? Dad said no last time. Oh, that's too bad. I thought maybe you'd say, like, a moon or something. That's not a friendly ship, is it? Oh, hey, you want my honest opinion? Okay, but even so, they don't need to kill anybody over them. Uh-oh, they hit one of our weapons! Well, oh, the studies very much like plants. Maybe a carnivorous one? Too late. Been there, done that. Mom! Gertrude is our shopkeeper. In my story, she used to belong to a farmer who grew lots of flowers. Gertrude liked to pick them and give them to her friends. I'm ready. And you're not leaving me behind, okay? Every day is going to be worse now. Don't you get that? You and Dad will rescue everyone, right? It helps to have a good teacher. Dad, don't let it go to your head. I like going on adventures with Dad. But I like being able to come home to my room, too. Something's wrong with the shield! Oh, God. I think you hit their weapon! Pester? You think I'm a pest? Is there one where we're all lizard people? Or one where time runs backwards? What do you think? I guess they can't do it without us. Well, without you, for sure. Um, there are turrets on the rock faces by the entrance thingy. Also, watch the sniper towers. At the end of the base. No, no, no. Aw, come on, please. I need somebody to talk to while I'm on the ship by myself. <laughs> Is this a trick question? I'm not going to get in trouble, am I? No matter who I pick. Hey, they're right next to some explosives. One grenade? Kablooey. You ever heard of the mantis? The famous bounty hunter? Some people say the mantis has superpowers. Mom's got to be okay. Even with the syndicate. I cannot wait to meet her. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what she's like. So, books? Let's get going. The shield is out of power. Dad says Neon's way too dangerous for me. You believe me, right? I... Uh... Wow. No tears. Big girl. I love you, too. Did you know Walter is one of the richest people in the universe? So if you guys need to sneak off to smooch some more sometime, you have my blessing. That's how it works, right? I hope I get to help take apart things when we're up in the station. Lock's done. Starships fly there like comets. I just have to promise not to complain about having to stay aboard the ship when we're somewhere dangerous. I don't want you here. Leave! Carrying us home. I'll miss you. Hopefully all the wires behind there are insulated. One of their weapons isn't working! And if it weren't for you, Dad might not be here either. So thank you for that. Dad, I've seen worse. He's just dead. I just don't know why... why you do so much for us. Communication is the key to harmony. That's what Sarah told me. Riding the gnat is fun. You should give it a try if you have time to spare. I have, Dad! I want to be as good a co-pilot for the captain as I am for you. It's really nice to have more company. New stories, new data. I wonder if they have any good bookstores there. Wait, what? You are joking, right? Please, uh, don't. I mean, I guess so. But that's really up to you, isn't it? All the superheroes could be villains, or all the villains could be heroes. You really are a superhero then! Our broken weapon's all fixed up! Bye! Um... No, I didn't like that. Why did you help us out with Mom? It was super dangerous. Say hi to the robots at the lodge for me, okay? Find it quick, before Jaden figures out something's wrong. Aye aye, Captain! I've got this one story about a talking penguin I'm working on. He's out for revenge. Bring me back a cool souvenir, okay? I didn't know her that well, 
but she didn't deserve what happened to her. 